crazy, right? Isn't that nice? That feel good? Hi guys, happy Wednesday. Tiffany from Rescue House One. Just sitting in the yard with Sam and Susie. It is hot here in South Florida. So I figured I would jump on to ask a favor from all of you. Yes, that is Susie. You may have watched uh, Amy's video earlier in the week um, when we pulled these little cooling mats out of the boxes and I said, oh my God, they're larges and they're very small. They're wonderful, wonderful for outside here when it is super, super hot. Um, but they don't stay cool that long. And unfortunately, the ones we have are not that large. So I went digging. I knew we had more. And I found this one just now inside and put it down. And Susie rolled herself onto it and placed her head on it. It feels nice, right, Mommy? It feels nice under your face. It's nice and cool to the touch. It's got, like, this gel stuff in there. And... Um, it feels great for them because it's so hot out here. But I'm going to show you. That's as far as it goes. <laughs> so these mats are great for us here at South Florida where it's 90 degrees for the dogs to lay on. As you can see, Susie is so comfortable she's falling asleep on it now she was hot and panting until they brought them out and she laid on them um, but they say that these are large <laughs> um, I don't know about you but that doesn't look large to me so if anybody knows where you can get these or order them and then be actually large size for our big dogs here at house one that we can have a few that we can kind of switch out during the day because they don't stay very cold um, as they're out here. They tend to, to warm up and then you got to bring them back inside and let them cool down again. So if you guys could find any maybe extra, extra, extra large, I don't know, that you could potentially send us here for our rescues, especially with summer coming up. It's going to be brutally hot out here. And if we can have a few that we can switch out um, during the day for the dogs. So when they get warm, we can put them inside and, and bring a new couple out. And then, you know, keep rotating them during the day. It's easy. Um, what are they called? They're all different brands. Um, I can tell you we got this one last year and I don't know what happened to it but all of the stuff is gone so this one was an animal planet one and this one is useless um, this one we got last year it says dogs rock on it but that's the only wording on it uh, let me see if this one has any this one has nothing on it but as, as I said, I pulled this out of the box and it says this is a large. I mean, we, you can see this is not a large. <laughs> At least not for our large dogs. So I figured I would jump on as she was so, so, so enjoying this right now. And see if our, any of our wonderful supporters have any experience with these mats, know which ones are better than others, um, and know how to get a large, because I'm telling you all of these, including this one, which is even smaller that she's laying on. I remember the box, I opened it, and it said large, and I was so excited that it was gonna work for our dogs, and then I took it out and saw the size of it. 
Hi. Yeah, it's a it's a cooling mat or a cooling pad or something like that. It's got some kind of gel or something in it that is nice and cool that the dogs can lay on at least for a little while and then you got to bring it back in so that it cools down again. These are but as I said, the ones we have say large, but they're not large. So I figured you guys are so awesome at finding the perfect things for our babies. I thought I would jump on and see if any of you had any experience, knew the breast brands, or how to get a truly large for our babies. Because this week already has been brutal here in South Florida. It's been in the 90s. It's been humid. The dogs can't tolerate it very long. They're, you know, not out here for very long. It's just gonna get worse and worse um, as we get into summer. So to have something like this that they can kind of lay on and cool their body temperature on while they're out here would be fantastic for them. Um, measure the ones we have. I could probably do that. I have to find a tape measure. I know we have one in the house. Um, I will, uh, I will measure it when I, uh, sign off and go in the house and then I'll put the measurements on here. It's just crazy because I'm telling you the box said that these were <laughs> large. And they're definitely not large enough for our kids here at Rescue House One. What you doing, Mama? And as you can see, Susie is thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it right now. And she's right underneath the fan here. So she's got the fan going. And she's got her cooling mat that she was laying her face on. Right, sweetheart? Was that nice? That was nice. Hi. What you doing? What's she doing, Susie? Where's your brother? Where's your brother? Sam Sam, where are you? What? I see that tail. Where's your brother? Sam Sam. What are you doing over there? Hi, buddy. Hi. Hello. Hi, Boo Boo. What were you doing over there? Um, I could say hi to your brother. I'm allowed to say hi to your brother. <laughs> you little nudge. Hi, gorgeous. Hi, gorgeous. You sitting on the cooling pad? See, it's a large, and basically he can just sit on it. <laughs> And as you can see, they do like these. So, as I said, these were donated to us. Um, I have no idea what store they came from, where they were ordered from. They came in as donations. So that's why I figured I would jump on, since you guys are so good at this, to see if you all could find some to send for us to get us through the summer, because it's gonna be brutal. We do have the pool, and we did get them in there yesterday. For the first time, uh, they on their own. We had to lift Sam and Susie in, but they stayed in for a few seconds. Susie jumped out much faster than Sam did. Sam kind of stood there and tolerated it for a little bit. I think he realized it felt nice and cool. And then when he got out, he was very frisky, running around the yard, galloping. So. We're introducing them to the pool slowly. We don't want to shock them. We don't want to scare them so that they never want to go in it. So we're doing a little bit at a time. Dalton was actually in the pool with his life jacket on today, swimming around the pool, which was fantastic. Like he was having a blast. And it's also very good for his pelvis and his hip. 
I got Red in again today. He stayed in a tad bit longer than he did the first time. And by a tad bit longer, I mean a few seconds. <laughs> Maybe a minute. Hey. But we're going to slowly get them used to it because, as I said, summer's going to be brutal. So we are going to figure out every way possible to keep these dogs cool out here. Water. Good boy. Hello, pretty Susie. And of course, they're still looking for their forever loving home. Bonded pair, brother and sister. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. You gonna lay on the mat? You gonna sit next to your sister? I will try to do videos of them in the pool. Um, it is kind of hard. Uh, like when we did Sam and Susie yesterday, I had to be in the pool with them and um, Jan and Pam lifted them <laughs> from outside of the pool into the pool. So I couldn't really do the live video while we were doing all that. Um, but as we get them a little bit more acclimated and they're not so frightened of it or, you know, they're just a little bit more accepting, then I can grab my phone and go live and share it with all of you guys. Right now we're just kind of in the uh, introduction stage of the pool. Hey guys, aren't they gorgeous? They are truly, truly a gorgeous, gorgeous bonded pair, Sam and Susie. Hey. Hi gorgeous. And as you can see, both lying on this way too small cooling mat. <laughs> so guys, if you happen to know where any of these mats are or can find them and you would like to donate to our kids here to help make the summer more bearable, we would be so, so, so grateful. The address is 345 East Commercial Boulevard, Oakland Park, Florida, 33334. Because I truly believe these things are going to be a lifesaver. Oh, you hear the doggies next door? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's just the doggies. Sam. Sam, Sam. It's all right, buddy. They heard the dogs barking next door. Very protective of their yard and their people. They always got to make sure everything's okay. Where are you going now, bud? Where are you going? Are you ready for dinner? You ready for din din? Are you ready for your din din? Is that what you're telling me? Are you ready for din din? You ready for din din? You want to eat? Tell me. Tell me. What is it? What is it? He usually tells me. It's adorable too. I really want to get it on video. Sam Sam, you want to eat? You want your dinner? You want your dinner? Huh? You want your dinner? Tell me. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Tell me. Tell me what you want. You want your dinner? Do you want your dinner? Man, come on. He did it really, really low, which I'm sure you guys didn't hear. But he usually kind of howls at me when he wants to go eat. And it's adorable. Sam, Sam.
Sam Sam. You ready to eat? You want your dinner? Do you want your dinner? Is that what you want? You want to go eat? Do you want to go eat? You hungry? Are you hungry? <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> is that it? Is that it? Tell me. What is it? You want to go in? You want your dinner? Do you want to eat your dinner? Is that it? Is that it? You want din dins? Do you want your din dins? Good boy. All right, guys, I'm going to sign off. I'm going to get them dinner because this right here is my cue that it's time to go in and eat. Again, thank you in advance. If any of you can find these cooling mats and in, I'm assuming, extra, 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 extra large since these are all size large. So thank you very much. This is Tiffany with Sam and Susie. Still searching for their forever home. Rescue House One. Sam has had enough. It's time for dinner. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Have a good night, everybody.